Now we are joined by the beautiful Trudy Brewer who is here with tips on weatherproofing your hair. Morning Trudy. Morning. Firstly weatherproofing, uh, what do you mean by it and how do you do it? Well, there's a checklist. Now I've got a checklist. Look, dry hair is unhappy hair, you know, and winter zaps the moisture from the air. We're in and out of air conditioning, heating, your hair's dry. So yeah. the minute it's dry, it absorbs all of the moisture in the air and goes frizzy and staticky. Um, also, how you treat your hair is really important in the winter. I mean, you wouldn't throw a silk uh, shirt in the wash with your sports gear. So, you know, look after your hair in the same way. It's a luxury fabric. Think of it like Actually, that. Actually, you probably would in my house, but that's that's <laughs> another thing too. Also, we do look after our skin, don't we, generally? Yeah, we put moisturizers and the hair on it. is the same as skin. You know, it's made up of keratin, it's protein based, so it needs lots of moisture, it needs lots of protein to look its best. So, what about the rain? Rain is really bad for your hair, especially if it's curly like mine. Um, obviously an umbrella helps, but no, really what you need in the rain is to choose products that are not sticky, like waxes and gels that go sticky when they're wet, because mm. the minute the rain gets on your hair, your hair goes sticky and flat. So choose oil-based products so that when your hair dries, once you get out of the rain, it still has the body and bounce that you had when you styled it. What about the cut? That must be quite important. It is important. I'm surprised how many people don't cut their hair regularly. You know, just a little six weekly trim. Yeah, because it costs, it costs quite a bit of money. It quite does. Often. It does. But the thing is that, you, like I say, you know, you want the best from your hair. A good hair day sets you up to feel great about yourself. You know, mm. when you've got bad looking hair, you feel terrible. Mm. So getting a six weekly or eight weekly, just a little light trim, makes a big difference to how your hair looks and how your style is supported as well. Are there certain things you can do to keep the cut, like that, that will keep the cut longer or have a certain cut that will stay longer? Um, I think a bit of layering helps actually. You know, a lot of people shy away from layering because they think it makes their hair frizzy. But if it's not dry and you look after it, layering can help support a style and give your hair body, which is what we want mm. really. We want hair that looks happy and healthy and full. Um, so that does help. Um, also, I, a little trick that I do, once you've blow dried your hair and styled it in the morning and the hot air is still in your hair, you need to set that style with cold air. So blowing the cold air through your hair on your head dry helps set the style. Mm. If it's warm and your head is warm, your head starts to perspire and your hair starts to frizz. Well, there we go. That's a handy little tip. Um, so that's one of the things we can do at home to keep our hair in shape. What else can we do? I think a weekly hair mask is really important. Like I said before, your hair is made out of protein. So if you can put back some protein. I mean, we torture our hair. Our hair straighteners are 230 degrees. Very few people use heat styling products while they style their hair. So a weekly hair mask just helps, you know, smooth that cuticle, which gets rid of the static and the frizz. Um, also, when you dry your hair from the shower I've invested in a micro um, fiber cloth is an amazing way to, to dry your hair squeeze out the moisture don't rough it up with the towel because that actually roughs up the hair cuticle and encourages frizz so those two things really do help and sleeping on a silk pillow if your hair's short or colored I've heard that. Yeah, the friction from the cotton when you're tossing and tuning. Silk or satin? Silk or satin's fine. Um, it actually helps smooth your hair. And it is glamorous. It's quite glamorous. I'm going to have to get one of those. All right, let's talk so about let's some talk of the products, the products that you yeah, bought in. Big shout out to Moroccan All. They are 10. Can you believe they wow. are 10 years old? And I think in the decade that they've been around, this is probably the most phenomenal product. Everybody's it's had a bottle of this stuff or, or, or the Moroccan oil or at the, some stage Or the argan oil, the mm. pure argan oil, which is great, like I said before, for styling in winter because it nourishes it as well. So good. That is mending infusion, so it helps mend split ends and it really does work it's incredible wow. it's got a uh, sugar uh, polysaccharide sugar um, extract in it amazing new product and it smells beautiful um, these are the conical circles from Davinus which is a natural organic brand um, yeah, and they are just little nicely. 20 dollar hair masks fully recyclable all organic ingredients and you can just throw them in a gym bag 20 dollars at the at the um, salon they're amazing and they're supposed to suit your mood not your hair oh nice okay um, I bought this in because I'm never without it. My Colab dry shampoo. It's just hit countdown ten dollars for a dry shampoo. I better not spray that everywhere. The reason I love it is that it leaves no white residue. Now, dry shampoo is a great way to put body in your hair. It doesn't have to be dirty. You can just use it as a style. I love product. it. Um, liquid gold for honey blondes. I thought I'd bring in this new one, Provoke, also a countdown. Colour infusing shampoo for if you want a little bit more warm tones through your hair, your blonde, not so icy for I winter. like to be an icy blonde. Yeah. And KMS, that is a great styling product. Um, the Forming Shape Spray. Again, this would be better for your hair. Hydrolyzed silk, then a waxy gel when it's wet outside, raining. Spray that in 
and blow dry. Right, we better quickly get through these two because we are running out of time. Um, another leave-in conditioner from Dr. Lorenzo. It's got the Australian wattle, lots of organic desert uh, desert lime. I actually, just, do plum. I just used a little bit of that on my legs, actually. Well, you can. Nice too. Skin in here. And famous... This looks amazing. Teaser. They've just launched a wet brush. Now, another <gasps> tip of mine is don't use a comb on wet hair. That's how you get split ends. So a wet brush from Tangle Teaser when your hair is wet. Comb through your product. Style Perfect. and go. Perfect. Amazing. Trudy, thank you so much. Pleasure. Always interesting to see what you have to offer us. Pleasure. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.